Hey guys, it's Shane for Jags Journeys. I'm back today at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Here today to have a look at the progress of the Wizard of Oz construction. Uh, it's been a little while since we've checked that out. There's been a bit more progress and I think we can see a little bit more from inside the park. So we thought we'd give you an update. Uh, don't forget the Heroes and Villains event is still on here until the 21st of July. So if you haven't visited the Heroes and Villains event, make sure you get down and check it out. It's awesome. Anyway, let's go now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Welcome to Movie World! <laughs> Alright, so first of all, I'm going to head over to the construction area from the Wizard of Oz, or at least what you can see from inside the park near the Superman escape ride. By the way, this is uh, pretty busy already this morning, it's only half past 10, and there's already quite a queue there, I think it's uh, potentially even over an hour wait already. So uh, make sure you get your ride on Superman Escape nice and early. Alright, let's see what we can see for Wizard of Oz construction, this is due to open late 2024. So I guess it looks like they've started building the facade for the Emerald City in the old Arkham Courtyard area. Uh, that's the Kansas Twister Boomerang Coaster track right there. And here is where you'll enter into Oz and that will hopefully be through a yellow brick road. And you can definitely see them starting to paint now the green for Emerald City. So that's exciting. All that area in there will become that color. And that scaffolding there is the start of the facade for the Palace of Oz. So we can't really see too much at the moment, but I'm sure over the next few weeks, we'll definitely start to see some structure going up on the framework. All right, so we can still see more of the Flight of the Wicked Witch coaster uh, popping up there from the uh, castle. Obviously, they're still working on all the theming for that. And as we know, the track is in and completed. Uh, I reckon we might even start to see some testing very soon on this ride here and also on the Kansas Twister as well, potentially. And I'm definitely loving the color of the track. It looks awesome. And all the details of the castle, it definitely looks cool. Now we do know that this is the entrance area for the Wizard of Oz. So I'm guessing there's probably gonna be a welcome sign, maybe some figurines even welcome you in to the land of Oz. And then you'll walk down the yellow brick road down here through the rainbow archways, where you'll walk into Emerald City. As you can see, there's already theming starting to go into the Wizard of Oz area, plus with what they've launched on social media already. It's really exciting to see, and we'll bring you more updates as the progress continues. And just to let you know, they still haven't uh, started the work on the removal of the locker area and uh, renovations of, this, of the old store to increase the queuing area. I'm sure this will be started pretty soon. <laughs> All right, so let's go and check out what else is happening here at Warner Brothers Movie World. And while the DC heroes and the villains events still on, make sure you get a photo with your favorite hero or villain here at Movie World. And by the way, there is also a test seat at DC Rivals Hypercoast. Uh, uh, currently, it's not in use, so I'm not sure why, but uh, there is one here, should you want to try that before you ride. I just want to give a really big shout out to Alita 
Ruskin, Lisa and Jaden, Luke and Taylor, and to Caitlin and Associates. Thank you all so much for buying me coffees again this week. It is really appreciated and really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buying me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. I just check on the progress of the arcade down near the uh, Kids WB area and there's actually now a roof on the building so uh, that's gone on since our last visit which is cool uh, and you can see a nice angled part as well so we'll get a closer look and see what we can see from the other side. You know it's funny uh, since the uh, walls have been finished and the roof's now on that's actually quite a massive area in there it didn't look like it was a very big area from the concrete pour when the slab was down but geez i tell you what that's actually a decent size so this is definitely going to be a pretty decent size arcade it looks like that's going to be a window there as well so uh, that's pretty cool right on the corner of the building there's going to be a circular window you can see right into the arcade so the way this is all progressing i would have to say this would definitely be open for the september october school holidays and just in terms of how much it's progressed in the timelines uh, it's uh, possibly going to be ready for then look if not definitely will be open for December without a doubt but uh, I reckon we could possibly see it open for the September October holidays Hey guys, just down here at the uh, Dirty Harry Bar and Grill and just noticed that there's, uh, they've updated the menu board now. Uh, Food-wise, it looks like probably the same, I think, without uh, looking through it all. But yeah, essentially that's a whole new uh, menu board. Looks good. And I can't wait for this to be reopened again. Hopefully it'll open early next year. And still no announcement on what's happening with the uh, Doomsday area. Uh, we really would like to see something uh, good happening with this area really soon in the future. Well, there's still no announcement of what's happening with the uh, WB Studio Showcase. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we'll have to wait and see if they're going to do anything with this particular part of the park. Uh, if they do, maybe it might include the Doomsday area as well. Let's wait and see. And don't forget the Walwiz Falls ride is back open. And by the way, they have removed the test seat, so now they've got uh, this where they had the gold and the weight uh, put into the place of where the test seat used to be. So the test seat now for Wildways Falls is just to the right of the entry. So you're about to jump into the test seat here. And uh, don't forget, uh, just check if the light is uh, red or green. So currently, if it's red, you can't ride. Once that goes down, it goes green, you can ride the ride. It's definitely really good to see the Wildways Falls ride back open again.
guys, that's going to do it for my look today here at Water Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Uh, really good to see a little bit more progress from inside the park for the Wizard of Oz area, which is great. Uh, there's obviously a lot more happening that we can't see, um, but as soon as they start doing more theming uh, around the front side, we're about to see more from inside the park. So we look forward to that, and we'll give you more updates when we can see more. Anyway, other than that, uh, get down to DC Heroes and Villains before it ends, before the 21st of July. Awesome event. Make sure you check that one out. Uh, and also good to see the arcade progressing well as well. Also great to see Wild West Falls reopen again right now. Anyway guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep the journey going. And uh, next time you're at Gold Coast theme parks, make sure you ask a question on the way in. Hey, it's Jags Journeys here today. You just never know where I might be. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next journey.